now Wyoming DJ wants to start the beef. This is what it is. Huh? Your rich. Shut your bitch ass! I'm with this shit like I'm Dennis. I started this shit, I'm a business. Niggas be hating, trying to blemish my image. Who want the smoke? Two to three count with the scope. Extended clip long as a rope. We wipe his nose. Shell like he had him a cold. I knew that boy was a hoe. Pull up with the gang. What's up, YouTube? Man, it's your boy AJ coming back with another banger, man. Alright, so hold on, let me let me sit the phone down. Alright, so y'all seen the title, y'all seen the thumbnail. I'm not gonna even get in a jaggy, you know what I'm saying? All oh, hyped up like I did for the NLE Chopper video. And if you didn't see that, the link will be the first link in the description. But y'all see how we get down. Now, from the title and the thumbnail, if you didn't know, back in the past, like all the way to 2K17, why I ran DJ did come from 2K, and I did 2K as well. And Back in 2K17, it was a tournament called Mountain Dew for all you 2K players, like people that don't play 2K that's on my channel, that's just like IRL subscribers. It was a tournament called Mountain Dew, basically, and you win, like, basically, you gotta last five hours, you can't really lose any games, and once you win, you get, like, unlimited boosts, jerseys, banners, balls, and all that stuff. Alright, so, YRN DJ played it with a... Um, like his other, you know what I'm saying, crew members or whatever, and he cheated to win. He got like his subs to throw him games. So, you know what I'm saying, I won later and with like fair and square. So I, I felt like that I should speak out on it or I felt like I should have something to say. So we end up getting into beef. Now I'm just going through a little backstory because now YRN DJ wants to start the beef again. He won't beef, he won't smoke, he won't box. We, we we can do whatever, bro. Y'all know I'm from Chicago. I'm not worried about it. But, all right, so basically, we got into beef because I caught him out on cheating to win the tournament. Then I pulled up on him, and he made a whole video out of me. I made one, too. I'm going to drop both of those links in the description as well. He put his side, like, sugar cone and everything. I put my side, like, both sides, you feel me? Sugar cone, nothing showing everything. Cause the dude that was on my team was one of our DJ's big, like he was a big fan of him. So when we was about to win, he purposely sold the game and gave our DJ bragging rights over me. And after that, we just haven't discussed nothing, haven't talked. But we was in a feud, you know what I'm saying? Beef back then in 2K17, cursing at each other, going back and forth, calling each other. You know what I'm saying? The bees and stuff like that, peas, all that, bro. I ain't gonna get demonetized. I ain't gonna cuss. But, basically, I'm going to show a little bit later on the screen that he DM. Well, I DM'd him first, honestly. I DM'd him on some business and stuff. Then he happened to remember who I was. And, basically, he, he I guess he want to start to beat back up. He wants some problems. He, he just want to box. I put, like, come on now. He said pull up. Like, ain't nobody finna come all the way to Atlanta. But if, if it's a show, some y'all want to see, you feel me? I'll do it for the fans. Because I know... What we do on this channel is for entertainment purposes only. But it's like these bigger YouTubers or these rappers and stuff. They just try to come at you because you're smaller or, you know what I'm saying? Like 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 you're goofy or something. And that's not what you know. That's not what's gonna happen. Now I am gonna show uh, right here on the screen. Uh, basically the past beef, like the video. You can hear the audio, all that. It was crazy, but I'm not gonna. That was feuded. Unfortunately. In a way, I took an L on it because my teammate, which was Wyron DJ, biggest fan, did throw the game. And he won, so that's bragging rights on him. But at the same time, he know how I got down in every 2K after that that he played. When I pulled up to the court, when he, whether he was live or not, he would close at. He would mention me. He would remember my name. He would get scared. But like, he didn't want to smoke for real because he knew without this nigga Smooth Almighty, we would have won that game easily. But without further ado, I'm going to let y'all see on the screen all the past beef and stuff and what went down. And I'm telling y'all, bro, it was crazy. Uh, whoever this is. Hold on, who the fuck is uh? Y'all see this nigga right here, bro? Let me tell y'all a really quick story about this nigga right here, dog. All right, so as we all know, I boosted Mountain Dew and I got every YouTuber trying to boost now because, you know, I set trends in this bitch. So you see this nigga get high or die trying, bro. This nigga won the Mountain Dew quote unquote fair and square. I saw him in a comment section in a video about me when I was boosting and he was talking reckless, all right? Um, I confronted him in the, in the comment section and the nigga was 
like, bro, you're my favorite YouTuber. All this extra shit, right? So this nigga has the nerve to pull up on me. Nigga, bruh, two virgins. Bruh. I got two virgins. I quit on God, nigga. Oh, this one of the tryhards, bro. He wanted to mount and do fair. I remember this nigga. Oh my god. Oh, this fucking screens. I'm about to quit. Oh god, bro. If this nigga score off a screen again, I'm quitting. Hell no. All that cool shit you doing ain't worth it. Fucking virgin ass nigga can't guard me, dawg. Ticket on the fucking game, bitch. Virgin, no life ass nigga. Been on this shit all day. Nigga can't guard me, bro. Nigga can't guard me, bro. Nigga can't guard me, nigga. He can't fucking guard me, bro. You can't fucking guard me, dog. Right. I've been telling nigga, I do this shit. I do this shit, nigga. Bitch ass nigga. Come on, nigga, guard me, bitch. Guard me, nigga. Guard me, bitch. Yo, I'm piped up now, nigga. I'm piped up now, nigga. I'm piped up now, nigga. Talking all that shit, nigga. And some YouTube comments, nigga. And some YouTube comments, nigga. Easy. Come on, nigga. What the fuck you doing, nigga? I do this shit. I do this shit, nigga. I do this shit. IQ got a little bitch. Virgin ass nigga, got these virgin ass no lies on a fucking game all day, bitch ass nigga, get your ass clamp nigga, what wrong with you nigga, get your ass clamp nigga, yeah Ra Ra, set a screen for this virgin ass bitch, both y'all niggas don't get no pussy nigga, he sold the game, you, on my grandma he sold that bitch, if I can't guard you, you can't guard me, fuck you mean, that's 11 points, no misses, 11 points and 11 on your shit, no misses, 11 on your shit, no misses, he sold that bitch, that nigga 2 for 6, he 2 for 6, he sold, he sold, on my grandma he sold, hey folks, play me again, simple, you a bitch bro, you suck, you suck, simple, you suck. Exposing the truth bet between me versus YR and DJ, or some people say I got exposed. Like four people didn't comment under my video already that I've been posted saying you got exposed or you got dropped off by YR and DJ. And I, I really don't care, bro. So here goes some of the messages leading up to before I actually played them. And then here's the message with Smooth. Smooth, bro, if you're on my team, why did you text YR and DJ? And people say, why you play with him? I play with him because he was on my friends list, bro. He's on my friends list, but not no more. And then this is what YR and DJ said in my stream afterwards. All right, so now that y'all seen that, bro. I'll see. I didn't come to play. He didn't come to play either, though. He was just on the game chilling with subs. And I was playing with uh my man's Rai Rai and then a sub. Like, the dude Smooth Almighty was a subscriber of both of ours. So, I didn't know at the time, though, he was like a sack rider of Wyman and DJ. So, I didn't know he was going to be that much in love with another man that he was going to 30 game and make us lose. But that's besides the point because that's old video game beef, bro. Now, we talking... I pulled up to his DMs, bro, and I'm just like, look, bro, I was just on business, and he just wanted to talk outside his neck. I guess he remembered me. I started hunting him in his dreams again or something. Like, niggas just be gay and, like, sacking over the internet and don't want to tell the truth or don't real want real smoke, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section, because y'all know why I ran DJ back down last time, even though last time it was, like, like I said, simple. Kitty video game beat 2k17. Nobody cares about that. After that, ain't gonna lie, he did set a trend. Everybody started to boost Mountain Dew. But besides that, man, it's just me and him the beef. Because I ain't gonna lie, if, as y'all seen in them clips, he did come at me reckless, did disrespect me. At that time, I was like probably 16, 17. I'm not saying I was young, but like when he was doing all that yelling and stuff, I was saying stuff back, but like. What's the point, bro? Like, just play the video game. But now, I, I want all the smoke. You know what I'm saying? I'm 18 now. I don't care about age, really. But I want all the smoke. We could throw hands. We could set up a boxing match like DDG and Deshae. Whatever you want to do, bro, we can get it. Just because I'm at 17K now doesn't mean nothing. Because we finna take off. We finna go crazy. We Also, I want to say I thank you to everybody that just got me to 17 6 k We got that, like, really fast, but I don't know where that came from. Make sure y'all keep turning on notice. Keep tuning in the videos. Also, make sure y'all... Y'all see right here, man. Go follow me on my Instagram, bro. Follow me on my Instagram. I'm telling you, giveaway at 100. And if you follow me, you have to be active. You have to be liking the pictures, you know what I'm saying? Give me feedback. Comment a little bit. Just... You know what I'm saying? Stay tuned. Be active on Instagram. Don't just follow me to, like, follow me because you think you are. Oh, it's a giveaway at 100. No, follow me, man. Let's get past 100. Let's really turn them. I'm really trying to get my Instagram popping because that's, like, where all the YouTubers do their stuff at. But enough talking. Y'all came to see the DMs. Y'all came to see the messages. Y'all came to see the real beef between me and YR and DJ, bro. And some people going to say, oh, he not even worried about you. All right, bro. That's cool. But just understand...
I want all the smoke, bro. Like, y'all not finna keep talking reckless, you know what I'm saying, to me like I'm a goofy. Like I said, bro, we could set up a boxing match. We could do anything, bro. But without further ado, I'm going to put it on the screen, and we're just going to read the DM. So I tell him, yo, Pete, what's up? Wait. He say, I remember you. You that weird nigga who stalked me in 2K. Get high or die trying. Now, my name back in 2K was Get High or Die. Like, a lot of people confused it with Get High or Die trying because, like, that's a movie or something like that. Also, I didn't stalk him. I told y'all what happened in the past. He just, like, like I guess I hunt this nigga. Like, he really scared of me or something. I'm chill. That's old. And is it? <clears throat> I said, that's old. And I didn't even mean to put uh here, but I was like meant to say, and it's just get high or die. But yeah, I had your scared of me. But on some real stuff, I'm just trying to talk business. Because that's, that's all I'm trying to do, bro. I'm trying to talk business. I'm not trying to come out here and argue like no little girl. Like, that's old, bro. We on to something new. He at, what, 400K now? He taking off. I'm trying to do the same, bro. You know what I'm saying? Invest in myself. So he scared of you. Get your goofy. Oh, oh, bro, nobody was worried about you. You just was a virgin who didn't get off the video game and stalked another nigga. Like, cool, bro. That's why I don't get about a lot of people. Just because you hit a high rap or a high overall doesn't make you a virgin. Like, it's called time management and multitasking, bro. I was only a superstar for 97 overall, bro. Like, come on, man. And I didn't start grinding until late. Then I'm, what? Here we go again. Yo, must be gay or something. You always second me. I'm bitching. But never mind that. How I got to chill on the Christmas. But never mind that. You just, you must want some beef or something, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously, if you coming to me and that's the first thing you saying as an approach, you must want some beef. Like, that That must got to be what it is. So then he hit me with the, it's whatever. You could pull up and box it out. I'm all for it. I'm tired of these. I'm tired of the internet niggas. So... Like, bro, I'm not an internet nigga, bro. I came to you on business. You start talking reckless. I got reckless back now. You don't like it? Come on, I be real. Then I said, say less, gang. That's what say L mean. Like, say less, gang. F you mean. It's going to be one. I'm never worried. So, like I said, we could set up a boxing match. We could do anything. We could get this out the way. No little kid stuff going on. Why don't and DJ won't beef? What's up, bro? Like, I ain't going to even keep talking, but let's get... 300 likes on this video, man. We gonna turn up. I want to see y'all dropping in the comment section. Who said y'all on? Mine's a DJ. So I know it's gonna be a lot of sack riders on DJ side because he has more subscribers, but I was never worried about it. I wasn't worried about it then. I'm not worried about it now, but that's all I got. I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. It's your boy, AJ, and I'll catch y'all in the next.